fakeish noise there. <laughs> but, uh, but there it is. Do you pay me for that? Is that a part of my uh, royalty rate? What's that? No, this is all. You're all owned by iHeartMedia. So. <laughs> all my voices and my yeah. mannerisms, my likeness, all. Oh, all your mannerisms. That's right. <laughs> yep, all of your volume mm-hmm. is tied up uh, in the uh, quote-unquote intellectual property of uh, this program. Hey, anywho, uh, welcome. If you'd like to join us live, uh, we'd love to have you. 216 578 1007 800-348-1007. 35192. Uh, if you'd like to send a text, uh, alancoxshow.com uh, for all the other stuff as well. Uh, now, be honest. I know you said after a few days, I know you said LA's not for me. Mm-hmm. I'll come out, I'll visit. LA's not for me. Mm-hmm. Was there any point in the week where you go, let's see what a studio apartment would cost me? Yes. Of course. $1,800. Yeah. It's the going rate. That's all right. For, do you want to, are you ready for this? What do you, how much square footage do you think $1,800 would get you? Now, this was in Burbank. It 525. Was when, 300. It was when I was at the studios in Burbank. I was like, I wonder what it would cost because that's like a nice area. I was like, I wonder the little Whole Foods. I wonder what it costs to live around here. I think here. Miles lived in, I think his house was in Burbank. He didn't live too so. far from Actually, Washington. I take it back. 200 square feet. You said 525? I said 525. Bill? Uh, I'll go, I don't know anything about square footage. Ugh. You know, four hundred. I, I, it's one of those things like it's a number that I hear, but I don't know what I have, like four hundred square feet. Do you know the square like. footage of Squifle Tower? No idea. Okay. My apartment is about six fifty, six hundred fifty square okay, feet. I'm gonna go four hundred. One hundred twenty-five. One hundred twenty-five. Well, I knew feet. it. That for is eighteen hundred dollars. A room. That's a ten by twelve room. Yeah. For eighteen hundred dollars. Yeah. That was uh, there was one that was ninety four square feet. I would say that the bed folds out of the wall because <laughs> right. I'm I'm just relating this to San Diego and I know San Diego is not Los Angeles, but they they paid probably like two grand for two hundred square feet it's wild. and and the bed folded out of the you're wall. On the ocean, baby, yeah. you're on the ocean. You get like a countertop stove and then it was like a mini fridge underneath that stove. Yeah, sink is all in one and then. And what's I, the problem with any of this, by the way? Living in a ten by twelve room. What's the problem? There's You're not, a single gal. Yeah, but I've already no responsibilities. Past that in my in my life. I guess if you consider uh, that leveling up, I do. Why do people associate property with leveling up? Not even property, space. Not space. feeling all cramped in in one room and. Well, you don't have to stay inside in a place like LA. Yeah, here you'd have to time. stay inside. I guess that's why people don't mind paying eighteen hundred dollars for. Uh, I mean, that is pretty small. <laughs> that's a one hundred twenty square for feet for a glorified mm-hmm. kitchen. Nevertheless, uh, you get to go there outside. There is no kitchen. That's why people are out there <laughs> hiking and they don't want to be inside. Nobody wants to be in their house. Yeah, I don't. I'm not running live and there. biking and okay. It would take so much to get me to move there. I understand. I was just curious. Your cat would be walking all over you, like she would I have know. no room. You have a cat futon folds up from bed to couch. Well, it's funny. It was. Um, Many, many years ago, when I was a younger man, I was dating this uh, relatively older woman who lived in this um, apartment building that was up the street from where I worked. And so it was very convenient to make the uh, post uh, work, uh, you know, uh, rendezvous. Whatever. Rendezvous. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, that's right. And, but the, it's funny because a lot of apartment listings will still say things like, you know, you'll ask them, like, do you guys allow pets? And so to circumvent that, uh, they'll go, we are cat, bird, fish, and ferret friendly. No dogs. No dogs. Right. All these other things, they will specify these small animals. I think I would rather have a neighbor that had a dog than a ferret. Because that thing's going to get away. It's going to crawl into the, uh, vents, into or the vents or something. Yeah. Yep. And I'm going to wake up uh, with a ferret on my face. <laughs> very, very angry animals. Cute as all get out, but very, very vicious animals. They stink, right? They yeah. stink. Yeah. I mean, every Small animal bad. stinks, I guess, if you don't... Uh, take care of it but uh, but i think they just kind of stink like even if you take care of a ferret, a they're just a stinky animal they emit a foul mm-hmm. and unpleasant odor mm-hmm. if you will that's right so uh you're happy to be back that's i'm very good, happy right? to be back and yeah. i've got may day parade tickets all oh, week goodness. that's very exciting for wow. your sister we're already gonna be there but that's okay oh you didn't apprise her of the she she was all she's still on their mailing list from myspace probably yeah. okay and you guys are going out to that they're still in her top eight top mm-hmm. eight Right. Friends and the whole bit. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Right. Yeah, you don't have to worry about losing me to L.A. Seventeen dollars smoothies. I'm okay on that. I spent I spent so much. Yeah, again, money none of these things. There. Now, granted, it's I don't I don't really keep up with how much things cost. But if it was a really good smoothie, it wasn't. It, oh, okay. It was a regular berry smoothie. Yeah. I was like, what did you do to this that made it seventeen dollars? And they didn't have an answer. It's just what it is. They just looked at you and said, "Would you like some ranch?" <laughs> right. That was Sorry. Just, that yeah. was just shorthand. Well, poor ranch. Into once, it. once the once the week got underway, that was the shorthand. I came here for out of towner to the cafe downstairs and got a wrap with the side, and it was like eight twenty five, and I was like, "Oh, thank God, I haven't oh. paid eight dollars for a meal in two weeks." <laughs> I'm back home. I'm back home. Oh, that's so good. Home of the eight dollar wrap. <laughs> they should put that on the door downstairs. Home of the eight dollar wrap. It's a pretty good price, honestly. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Was, yeah. Their food's good. It was really good. I mean, it's a chicken wrap and a side of broccoli for eight eight dollars and twenty five cents, and then like, dude, out there, I did not have a meal that cost me less than thirty bucks, no matter what time of day, no matter what. What it was. See, when you say seventeen dollars for a smoothie, my brain goes, "Yeah, Los Angeles." When you tell me eight dollars for a wrap in this building, I go, "What?" Yeah, that's I how my brain. I go, "Really?" It's really good. Nevertheless, eight bucks. Wonderful. See, because you're coming from out there, you go, "Oh my god, what a deal!" I'm so rich. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you guys understand how rich I am. Four hundred dollars here is I kept like all millions. this. See, <laughs> that's why people uh, stay here. That's yeah. why people never leave or why they come back or, you know, there, whatever. There was a moment, I text you guys and nobody texts me back. At my set um, Saturday night at the Comedy Store, it was like an audition set, essentially. Uh, it was a showcase set. And the booker was sitting in the room taking notes on everybody's set, intently watching, participating. And while the comic before me was on stage, uh, someone, a door guy came and got the booker and she like hurried out of the room real quick and I was like, what the hell? Like right before I'm about to go on stage and someone was like, Chris Rock just got here. And I was like, well, F me, right? Like, <laughs> And then she was literally But you got gone. to see Chris Rock. No, I was on stage. I still had to do my time slot. But then he go up? He didn't even go up. He stopped by to say hi. So she oh, had to go accommodate and kiss his butt and do all that. Just talk to the guy. To just talk to the oh, guy. Oh, that sucks. Yep, he and didn't that, even go okay. on stage. I thought at the very least. No. You'd get to... He didn't even go up. So yeah. she went and did schmoozing him, whatever, whatever. And then I got off stage, and then she got back into the room during the comic after me set. So she literally was It was almost gone. like she planned it. I was It was so like upset. she planned to not see. Oh, um, right. Chris <laughs> Rock is here. No, no. Uh, he's not going up. No one can see him. He's not, <laughs> don't ask any more questions. <laughs> uh-huh. But it was things like that where I'm like, I feel like that probably happens all the time here. Well, it also happens to every major comic you've ever heard of when they were coming up. Somebody bigger than them bumped them. Yeah. I didn't even get bumped. She just was like, okay, bye. <laughs> like, yeah. Obviously, she I, just didn't watch your set. Which yeah. I totally, obviously, yeah, it's Chris yeah. Rock. You're going to go schmooze. I get that. But I was like, man, this time, my one freaking showcase set of the week. Like, <laughs> the one oh, set boy. that didn't get canceled this week. Right. And then that was like, I'm all right not being here, I think. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, no, you should have though. You should have just started doing yeah. all his yeah. material. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. He comes up How's like, your Chris Rock impression? Not good. I've never tried. <laughs> what about the good parts of crack? <laughs> I'm Mary Santora. That's my time. <laughs> right, i got to take a break. Uh, if you want to get a text for anything, 35192, allencoxshow.com for all the other stuff. And your next chance, not to bury the lead here, next chance for you to grab a thousand bucks. I'll have a keyword to go fund yourself coming up at 2.30.